And I think of my own life, and I look back at the parable of David, and then uh, in the mid-1980s, I started to get all, have these very powerful spiritual experiences, and then the Course came into my life in 86, and then for two and a half to three years, I was just reading it for like eight hours a day, and, and totally merging with it, and not knowing another Course student, or groups, or anything, just going into a merge with, with Jesus, with the Course, eight hours a day with it, and so on and so forth, and then, and then when I popped out of that phase, I was shown Course groups, and I went from knowing no one in my whole area to study the Course, to going to five groups a week, and, and, and it all happened very rapidly. Mm -hmm. Then the next thing that happened was the Holy Spirit, Jesus started speaking through me at the Course groups, with, with authority. Uh, not, you know, like reading a line or something, David reading a line, it was coming through. I was in <coughs> such alignment with it, that it would just come pouring through. And then on the ride home from the course groups, then the ego would just have a field day. What did you say? Who do you think you are to speak those words? What if you, if you destroy people's lives with those words, you know? So you help a few people, you might ruin, you might mess some people up. What if somebody commits suicide, based on what you just said back there in the group? And you know, these are the kind of things on the ride home, it was really intense. I'd show up there, I'm here to be truly helpful, I'm here to represent Him who sent me, use me Lord, da da da, the Holy Spirit would pour through, I had such a connection, and then on the ride home the ego would just second guess, look back, you know, what are you doing? Who, what is, you're just going to a group, and who, who are you to teach this? Who are you to even say that? You know, it was really hammering away. It was quite threatened by this new use of speak through me, Lord. It was extremely threatened by that. And yet, you know, that was part of the whole mind training. I, I ended up going to like five groups a week, and then I went to this one very large group of course students. It was sometimes between 20 and 35 people there, very well established for many years. They had no facilitator, no group facilitator. They just had been going there for years with no facilitator. So they would go around and each read a paragraph, like a lot of course groups. And then when somebody would have a question, there would just be this pause of opening, like, could somebody help with this question or very practical question? And the Holy Spirit would just come right out. And then the same thing would happen, then they'd pause, question, Holy Spirit would come right out and answer. It was almost like the Spirit was like, I'm here, I'm available, and here's, it would be very to the point, very extremely helpful answers to whatever question came. So this went on for weeks, and then months, and then um, if, if somebody was filming the group, they would watch, go around, read, 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 question, then all the heads and the whole group would turn over to the body of David for the answer. Mm -hmm. It was just, just the way that the group unfolded, because the clarity was so strong, it was just coming through. And you had better believe that their ego was, was going to do a number on this, like, what are, where are you taking these people? Who do you think you are? You are not the teacher of this group. It doesn't even have a facilitator. How dare you, you know, it was, the ego was very threatened by this use, by this real clear use of, for my mind training, and for everyone's, it was coming through that way. So that is not uncommon that, that you start to practice this, study this, and then you find yourself like in a, a psychology class even, and you are, you know, not, you're somewhat hesitant to, to speak out these things, and yet, you do, from time to time, and then you start getting positive or very helpful reflections and witnesses back. <coughs> and that is what the ego will do, because you're on your way to your function, to actually fulfilling your function of, of being a miracle worker. That's the beginnings of it, and the ego is so threatened about where this is heading. Because if you go, if you do get into your miracle working, and you devotedly stay with it, then the ego is out of business. Do you think that's threatening to the ego? Yeah. It's extremely threatening, and that's what's going on, you know, even though some of your past conditioning would say, you know, 
this is not so good. Thank you.